There's no question the Govi permanent outdoor lights are the best looking decorative house lights on the market, but some people have questions about their quality. So let's talk durability. You might hear the word permanent and wonder what exactly that means. So the lights are IP67 dust and waterproof. They're also weatherproof with a temperature rating of negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The wire that's holding the lights together can withstand 11 pounds of force and the heavy duty VHB adhesive can form a long-term bond with multiple surface types. Now, before I actually install the lights, I ran a couple of tests to make sure that they actually live up to what they claim. So for starters, I did a basic waterproof test to see if the lights would work while submerged in water. I think it's safe to say that no matter where you live, the lights would never be subjected to this amount of water. But even if they were, as you can see, they'll still work with no issue. I took things a step further by keeping the lights in the water and placing them in the freezer for a few hours and the results were the exact same. I took them out of the freezer and even covered in ice, you can see the lights powered on with zero issue. Like I said earlier, Gobi claims that the lights can withstand up to 140 degree conditions. So I put some water on the stove, brought it right around 140 degrees, placed the lights inside, and again, the same result. The lights powered on and functioned with zero issue. Now to test the strength of the wire holding the lights together, I wrapped them around a couple 10 pound dumbbells to see if they would hold up and they did just fine. It never felt like the wire was stretching or going to give way at any point. I also wanted to test the strength of the 3M VHB adhesive. So I cleaned an area on one of the eaves of my house and installed a small section of the lights. And then I attached two water bottles and it actually supported the weight for about 30 seconds, which doesn't sound like much, but I did the math and those water bottles are nearly 4,000 times the amount of weight that the adhesive would ever have to support. So when you take that into consideration, I think the adhesive did pretty well. So after all of my experiments, I felt pretty confident installing the lights, which happens to be a very simple process. You get everything you need inside the box, you get your power cord, your control box, which is also weatherproof. You get your lights, some extra adhesive strips, some cord clips, some anchors and screws for cable management and a 16 foot extension. So the first thing you want to do is figure out your power source. Luckily for me, I have an outdoor outlet, which made things extremely simple. From there, you want to map out your installation based on your home. And Gobi recommends installing the lights on the eaves of your home about five to 10 centimeters away from the wall. Again, luckily for me, the roof line is the same height all the way around my house, which again made this process super simple. So pretty much all I had to do was get a ladder to reach the roof line, remove the back of each adhesive strip and press them firmly up against the eave for a few seconds and you want to make sure that you wipe down each section with a wet cloth before installing each light. This is going to give you the best long term results. So each light strip is a little over 16 feet and it's recommended that you use four of these clips per light strip for extra support. And then whenever you're ready to attach the next section of lights, all you have to do is screw them together. And Gobi recommends not connecting more than 150 feet of lights. You can install more than 150 feet, but anything over that needs to be plugged into its own control box. So once you get to the last light, all you want to do is screw on the end cap to cover the electrical components. And from there, you're pretty much good to go. Make sure the power is plugged in. Go ahead and turn the lights on and connect them to the Gobi app which gives you full control of the lights. You can adjust the brightness. You can change the colors to literally whatever you want. You can choose from pre-made scenes, create your own scenes. You can sync the lights to the rhythm of music. You can even set up automation schedules so that the lights automatically turn on and off at specific times throughout the day. 
And the beautiful thing about these lights is you can use them for way more than just the holiday season. If you're a sports fan and your favorite team has a big game coming up, you can create a matching theme. If you're hosting a party, you can incorporate the lights into your decoration. Or if you just want some mood lighting for your outdoor entertainment area, the opportunities are virtually endless. Needless to say, these lights get my stamp of approval. And if you're on the fence about these, let's just say you shouldn't be. So make sure you check out the link down in the description if you're interested. And aside from that, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.